Hey guys, today we're at West Town and we're going to be working on Cactus Canyon, looks like. Um, this right flipper here is weak compared to the other one. Sometimes it's not weak, sometimes it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the, the flipper actual switch. And if this was like a Bally Williams, it might have optos. So let me open this up and we'll come right back. All right, we got this open. As you can see, the uh, EO, both of the uh, optos are registering. It's nice that they put little uh, indicators on there for us. And it also registers in the system. And the other thing I did check was the EOS switch, which is registering as well. And some of these lugs here. <clears throat> check some of these lugs. There is no diodes on this coil. So, just wanna make sure that we got no bad connections here. Is this fused anywhere? Real question is, where are the flippers driven? I'd be willing to bet it's probably in the back box. Let's just put it back down once and see if we get any difference here. It's like really hard to do one handed. All right, let's back out of here. Still see the optos. You don't just stand there. Uh, do something. All right. The next thing we're going to want to check is the voltage. Maybe the voltage is not good. So let me go get a multimeter and come back. All right. We got our uh, multimeter out and uh, we got one side connected to ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to test uh, the hot side of the coil, which is usually the orange wire here. Sorry about that. There we go. We got, on the good one, we got 77 volts DC. And on the bad one, 77 volts DC. Now, what could be the problem? Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is check the windings of the coil. There's a chance that maybe the coil is bad. It's weird, but it could be, um, especially since we have full voltage up here. There's only one other cause that it probably could be, and that would be the driver. Um, but we'll see. It's possible the driver's out. Um, let me check these coil windings real quick, and then I'll come right back. All right, I uh, checked the coil windings, and... Uh, they're exactly the same as the good one, so I didn't think that was a problem. I didn't see any visible burning, not too much. So um, what I'm gonna do is look in the back and see what I can see and see how this is driven. The only other thing it's probably gonna be now is a board level problem, or in a rare case, maybe a fuse, depends what side they fused. Um, we'll see, let me go back and look. All right, in the back here we have your standard uh, Illinois driver arrangement with MOSFETs and you know, controller and stuff. Um, I've checked all these fuses and for the most part they're pretty good. I don't think we have any issues. Um, the pastors look pretty good. It's most likely some sort of driver. Um, the next step would be to um, figure out exactly which transistor it is and start testing that. So, so that's where we're at with this. I will cut back once I figure something out that may be next. All right. 
After a bunch of uh, dinking around, uh, it turned out to be this coil. It's actually uh, spinning around a little bit and pulling on these um, these lugs a bit, and there must just be it just must be making. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can resolder it, but I think I'm just gonna order another coil. So. Um, there you go, guys. That's the answer to our problem. I'll get a new coil. We'll install. It should be good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.